Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. This is Pratik Srivastava here, founder of online study for you and I have 12 plus years of IT industry experience. Friends, as you are aware, TCS has started conducting the interviews and now we are capturing each and every interview experiences for you, whatever we are able to receive from the student, right? So today you might have seen, so we had uploaded a video, TCS 9th of June interview experiences. And today we have received one of the interview experiences of digital and prime. So that I'm going to cover in this video. Friends, it takes a lot of effort in chatting with a student, talking to a student, bringing the genuine content for all of you. So I request all of you to please do like the video and also subscribe to the YouTube channel so that I can do more and more for you all okay now so i have captured all the points taken from the chats right so whatever the questions were asked how the interview started each and everything now so friends here the interview so there was little change was there here so all three interview did not happen together right so there were two interviewer in first round tr and mr before that friends i will tell you the role is TCS digital, duration is 35 to 40 minutes, branch CSE, and location was Gaziabad. So basically, I'm sharing the interview experience of Neha. Okay. So now there were two interviewers in the first round, technical and manager, right? So technical and manager round. So both were there in the first round. And then second round. So basically, they ha she had two rounds. So in that HR was sitting alone, right? HR round. And this HR round was just there for five to 10 minutes. And TR and MR together were there for 35 to 40 minutes, right? 35 to 40 minutes, okay? Now, so again, it depends upon, uh, you know, the candidate to candidate depends upon the interviewer, all those things matter. But generally for digital, you can expect 30 to 40 minutes, okay? Now, so uh, HR interview happened separately. Clear? Fine. They asked me introduction first. Friends, any student, right? So whoever is going for the interview, so 100% the first question will be asked to you is, so tell me about yourself, right? They asked me about the introduction. In fact, I will be asking her more details because just now, so uh, she had to reach in her college at 8.30 a.m. and Today is, uh, the time is 7.39. So basically, uh, she finished her interview around 7.10 or 7.15. You can see the time uh, if it is there in the chat. So let me go back. And 7.7, 7, right? So she just now finished, like, after she finished her HR round, she messaged me that, sir, now my interview is over, right? So uh, it was around 7.10 or 7.15. And then I am bringing the interview experience for all of you, okay? Okay. So then they asked me about my family and education, right? So in education, basically, they asked, you did your 10th from Bihar and 12th from Bisaka Patnam. So what is the reason? Why did not you do your 12th from Bihar? Or why did not you do 10th from Bisaka Patnam? So this kind of reason. So friends, uh, see, definitely there will be some logical uh, you know, reason behind that. Or you can say, sir, my parents shifted to Bisaka Patnam, right? Because my father got a job or my father switched the job to Bisaka Patnam. And that's the reason we came here and I did my 12th or graduation from different, different places, right? See, he does not know about your father, right? So what he does, where he does, right? So if you can tell some, uh, you know, reason, some valid reason, or if the reason is true, that also you can tell. Then what is your favorite subject and why? So I don't know what all answers he had given. So you can see in the chat, so whatever question C, now I cannot ask like, what did you tell about C and C plus? Because already uh, C will be very much tired from, it's almost 12 hours, right? So it's almost 12 hours for the interview. The interview was scheduled at 11.30, but uh, definitely the college will ask you to come early. Then tell me some concepts of Java. So uh, the interviewer asked, so you tell me some concepts of Java because in her resume, it was mentioned Java. Now, so friends, you have to pick. So what are you going to explain in Java? What is the favorite or 
you know something uh, definitely will be favorite in java like if you know oops concept in detail or if you know something so see explained i explained oops concept right so see mentioned sir i explained uh, oops concept right so many oops ka concept bata diye because oops concept anyway everybody is prepared very well encapsulation abstractions right inheritance so anybody can explain it then they asked what is the difference between authorization and authentication right so uh, you know so if you are authorized to do this kind of uh, you know transactions and when it is authenticated right you get some kind of otp and all so you can explain with some example why do we use abstract class okay what is the difference between c and c++ so friends whenever i generally take the interview so i will ask always a student right to uh, you know uh, to the difference between c and c++ c++ java c and java so right so c is a procedural language c++ is a non procedural language right c++ uses uh, oops concept c does not have oops concept right so uh, so all those things right so you have to tell some uh, you know reason some difference with some reasons like why c++ right so you can also tell why c++ came in picture what was not supported by c see definitely if c++ came that means something which is not there with c and that's the reason c++ was invented right okay so uh, if they will ask you difference between c++ and java you can tell java is platform independent c++ is platform dependent so such kind of reasons you need to tell to you know differentiate between like why c++ was required okay so see don't remember that c++ is procedural language top to bottom approach bottom to top approach all those things don't remember okay please try to think why c++ came into picture why c was not able to uh, you know solve your real world problems right see using c++ what we do so see we do sorting right we do uh, you know uh, sorting searching it's very very easy so basically c++ was able to solve the real world problems right real world problems right have you seen any website in c language no right so this real world problem was solved by c++ and that's the reason uh, c++ came into picture so you have to understand the difference okay what is dom in html see if you don't know something because there were a lot of technical questions were asked right so there were a lot of technical question was asked to her so if you don't know something you tell sir uh, this particular concept i am not aware but i will definitely uh, learn it before i join uh, you know the esteemed tcs organization right okay so and then the question was asked if you are in digital and if you get ninja then do you have any problem right so friends uh, beginning i thought right so beginning i thought this question they are asking or this they are telling so if the candidate is not good at you know uh, not good technically so they might get ninja so that's the reason but then i came to know so to most of the students they were asking so if you are in digital and if you get ninja then do you have any problem right so friends here again diplomatically you have to answer if you say no no sir i don't have any problem then definitely they are going to give you ninja okay so you just tell sir uh, i am aiming for digital okay and uh, you know my preparation level or that the, the, uh, you know i am learning all the latest technology so definitely in uh, digital i get to uh, work on the latest technology and with the development background right so uh, i am aiming for digital but i will accept whatever i get from tcs because tcs is my dream company so i i can join for any role but still i will be always i will be aiming for digital so that i can you know uh, use my development background uh, into a digital profile and which will be and i will be able to contribute in the success of uh, tcs right tata consultancy services so you have to give a diplomatic answer if you are ready to compromise with ninja they are telling well, what if you don't get digital okay uh, then can you are you happy with ninja you are saying okay then give him ninja right so you have to tell no no so oh, your aim is this but you are ready to accept whatever tcs offers you right but your skills your knowledge your development background is definitely going to help uh, in the success of tcs right okay then then they asked her to write a program for reversing a string on pen and paper right 
so it's not like you have to write on a system okay so you have to write the program uh you know on pen and paper and guys uh i think you can take the mobile there is no problem only when you are sitting in front of interviewer that time you don't have to use otherwise you can use right what is java servlet okay so what is java servlet that also you had to explain what is big data right so what is big data so what is big data friends do you know about the big data right so big data is nothing but friends see big data is basically uh, the name itself says big data that means data is very very big right friends you think uh one about one user right so about one user about you so you have facebook in your mobile you have gmail in your mobile right you have uh, tinder in your mobile right you have somebody will be having sadi.com in your mobile somebody is you know whatsapp in your mobile so how much data one single person is generating think about that right so it will be like a very big data right now uh, you think about the population of india now so one right so now 140 crores people are using right all this application so you can uh, imagine the level of the data right you can think of the data see within one minute the people says like we are generating data in some millions right so that big size uh, data we are generating so definitely so that big data it will be very very difficult to manage and also you think right so what if your data is getting lost right so your whatsapp data is there your gmail is there gmail crashed whatsapp crashed right because of such big data so big data concept uh, came into picture so big data says so whenever you have a big data right then what we will do so we will put it in different different machine by reducing the size now suppose if your whatsapp size is 300 mb right then what they will do so may maybe 75 mb here 75 mb here 75 mb here 75 mb here and for that they use hadoop right so there are many uh, basically hadoop is there cassandra is there right so but hadoop is very famous so they will be right so breaking this into the chunks of data and keeping in different different machine and along with that they will be also keeping a copy of that so that you never lose your data so big data came into picture when you have a very big data right and definitely now you just have lot of applications a lot of datas are there so to break the data using chunks and keeping in different different machines so that your data does not get lost nothing crashes so all those things will be taken care so that is what is big data right api so what is api see friends if you are not able to understand anything it's very very simple just to go on google and search what is api right so what is it because these are the things application programming interface so these are the things which are very very uh, useful right so and also uh, what you can do is like you can see so api has mechanism that enable two software components to communicate with each other using a set of definition and a protocol right so if there are two software components are there and they wanted to talk to each other right there we use api we give the port number we give the uh, basically ip address right so that we will be able to communicate uh, using api right so you can also watch some videos right so what is api in python so a lot of you know uh, this thing is there so you will be getting the complete information but yes definitely you have to uh, know all those things you have to understand all those things right okay do you know about cloud computing can you please explain so what is cloud computing friends see cloud computing is nothing but when you are storing your data using the internet that is nothing but cloud computing right see if you store something in your laptop it is local right so this is your computer is there right so this is your computer is there so you are working on microsoft office right so you are working on microsoft office you are working on ppt then what will happen whatever you will do it will be there in your system right okay now just think so if you are putting something in your gmail if you are putting something in your google drive right so for that internet is required right internet is required now so internet is required but you will be able to access gmail you will be able to access google drive from wherever you are so today if you are in karnataka bangalore you can use tomorrow if you are in mumbai you can use but this microsoft ppt this microsoft word ppt and all it's in your local 
uh, you know, machine, you have to keep it with you. You wherever you go, you take, then only you can access. But using this cloud computing, right, over the internet, you will be able to access your data any place, anywhere, right? And one of the best example of uh, the cloud computing service provider is nothing but Amazon Web Services, right? So even you watch our videos, right, on our platform. So that is also stored in somewhere in AWS. So just keep in your mind. So if you are able to access the data from anywhere, any place using the internet, that is nothing but you are using using cloud computing, right? Okay. Then next, sir, most of the questions were from the answers which I was giving. So she was she told, sir, most of the questions were from the, uh, you know, answers which I was giving. Okay. Then why do you want to join TCS? Okay. So why do you want to join TCS, right? So you have to tell, so why do you want to join TCS? Because TCS uh, definitely, right, uh, is a very good company. Uh, to work on latest technology, right? It's your dream company. You have worked very hard, right? You are working very hard from long time. So all those things you can give. Are you ready to work in night shift? Yes, sir. I am ready to work in day and night. I will work 24 hours per day. No problem. See, because I said you, the interviewer, you will not be able to meet once you join TCS, right? So don't worry about that. Then are you ready to work anywhere? Do you have any location preferences? So you can mention, no, sir, I can work anywhere. I do not have any location preference. Friends, when you have, you will be getting selected there. You will have to select the location, right? So right now, don't tell to the interviewer that my preferred location is West Bengal. My preferred location is Ghaziabad. My preferred location is New Delhi. No, tell me about your strength and weakness. So you have to prepare. Okay. And then there was two situation based questions were there. So situation based questions. So you are in a team as a team leader and there are four members. Then how are you going to manage the team? So you are in a team, you are the team leader. There are four members are there. How are you going to manage the team? And then one situation was there. So there is one male employee and you are a female employee, right? If any personal issues are there with respect to the leave, if he is not giving you leave, then how are you going to manage this? Or are you going to, how are you going to fight with him? How are you going to complain? So this kind of question, because Neha is a female member, right? So this kind of questions were asked to her. So friends, uh, this was the complete interview experiences, which I said with you and definitely it will be helping you out. I understand. Okay. And friends, uh, one more thing, right? I wanted to tell you. So if you want to prepare for the interview, right? So just now I said, what is cloud computing, right? So I explained now, sir, uh, how uh, we will be able to know that you are teaching cloud computing, right? So you can see. See, whatever uh, the latest technologies are, the latest technology, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing, right? So already we are doing it in our particular interview courses, right? So friends, get this interview course. It is helping everyone, trust me, and it will help you also, right? See, I could say 90% of the questions, you will be getting it from there, okay? So the link is in description. Get it today itself and prepare well. Now, friends, a few things like which she said, so one of her friend, uh, she had given interview for prime role and in the prime role, right? So in the prime role, they asked her four coding questions, right? So that coding questions are right now, I cannot tell you, but after some time, uh, you know, once I talk to her, I get to know so that coding questions I will put in the comment section. So that coding questions I will be putting in the comment section. Okay. And in that comment sections, you can check it out, right? Okay. So one question she said is like reversing the string, but here uh, they were asking her to write in different, different language like C++, Java, right? So four coding questions were asked and all other questions were very much similar. So prime role, definitely the interview is going to be a little tough. So you have to be ready more and more coding questions you need to prepare. And uh, today we are going to place here more and more algorithm. Uh, you know, uh, questions like, uh, uh, you know, some uh, dynamic programming, RA based questions. So that all those things we are going to uh, put it in this folder by uh, today, 10, 10 p.m. Right. So get this course. It will be definitely helpful. So basically you will have to write the logic or you'll have to write the code. So friends, see uh, one more thing. See whatever uh, interview experiences we are getting genuine one. See if I want, I can only frame an interview experience and I can tell you, right. So I can only frame a 
uh, interview experiences and I can tell you this was for Ninja and this was for Prime and my views of the videos will be very, very good. But friends, see, if I receive from someone, then only I will share. I will give you the genuine content, right? See, people trust on online study for you and that trust, I will keep it even though we get views or we don't get views, but the genuine the genuineness should be there if somebody has given the interview, if they have shared with us, then only we will be sharing with you. Thank you. Take care. All the very, very best. So do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like the video. It's all our effort and you have to appreciate. Thank you.